Welcome to Channel 17, the Town of Colony Government Channel. Hello and welcome to Getting to Know You. I'm your host, Robert Jakeway. On today's show, we're going to be talking with individuals from the local color art gallery, which is located in Latham. We're going to be speaking with Christy Bell, who is the director of the gallery, Kim Benagi Lee, who is an artist and also the finance coordinator, and Marjorie Ward, who is a member of the Art League and also on the gallery committee. So let's go meet them. Christy and Marjorie, thank you very much for agreeing to be my guest today. Thank you for thank having you. us. It's a pleasure. Now, before we start talking about the local color gallery and all the things around there, um, I'd like to have our viewers know you a bit more. So I'm going to ask you to give a bit of your background and, and uh, how you came to the local color gallery. So Christy, I'm going to start with you. Thank you. Um, I am Christy Bell. I'm the gallery director. And I've been an artist since I was probably seven years old. I went to college for art, and I ventured into the Capital District around 1985, and I started working on my own. I'm a full-time artist. I have a studio in my home, and I eventually learned about the Colony Art League, and I was very interested. I started um, going to some of the meetings, and I became a member of the Colony Art League in 2002 and then one day I happened to walk into the gallery and I thought it was a beautiful gallery and I wanted to be more of a part of it so the director volunteer position came up and I was asked to do it and I this is my third year as the director of the gallery and it's been a wonderful experience wonderful yes Marjorie yes I'm uh, Marjorie Ward and I actually came to know many of the artists who exhibit at the gallery and others who don't but are members of the Colony Art League through my work at WMHT and our art auctions. And one year, almost 35% of the artwork that was donated to the WMHT event came from members of the Colony Art League. Really? So I had been in the gallery. Um, you know, to pick things up and, and met some of the people. And I just decided that I would join and support them in their work. And, um, well, I guess I got asked to be on the gallery committee and decided I would do that, do whatever I could to help there. And then I started taking some of the beginner watercolor classes that they were offering. And I'm sure that we'll talk a little bit more about yes. those things later. So I perhaps in 10 or 20 years you might see some of my work at the gallery, <laughs> but for now it's all <laughs> behind my closet door. So, uh, so that's The evolution of an artist. That's well. right, work in progress, <laughs> yes. Um, and so it w but it's been so nice to meet these people in the gallery. It's just a, a beautiful place, and we hope that more people will get to know the gallery. Come well, visit and, us. and we're going to focus on the gallery a, a lot today, um, um, and, and I paid a visit this morning and, and really found it a wonderful place, lots of art, and uh, we'll show pictures. Um, as we're talking, we're going to be showing some, some works uh, so that people can get an idea of what they might be able to see there. Um, also, we did a program about the Arts League uh, a little while back, mm -hmm. but um, I think it's fine for us to talk about the Art, the art League, and then we can get into the gallery also. So, mm -hmm. uh, the history of the Art League. How did the Art League come about? And um, we are coming up on our 35th anniversary, which actually is in a couple years. It'll be in 2009. So the league was established in 1974 by a local resident of Latham, Russ McMahon. And he established it with a group of other local artists. And since then, it has grown and grown and grown. And we now have over 300 members in our league. And we are located right in Colony, in Latham. Uh, our 
meetings are held at the town hall, the colony town hall. The gallery is right in Latham. So a lot of things that we do are very local. So this is a membership organization. People, people join it, become members, and then become active. And you get together and do business, but also probably talk more about art. Am I right? Oh, that's pretty much all we talk <laughs> about. <laughs> we talk about that a lot. We have so many members who are, have, it's just a world of knowledge. If there's anything you want to know about art, we have somebody who knows about it. Our artists range from sculptors to photographers to painters to calligraphers, graphic designers, and there's a whole range of medium that they use. We've done murals and interior design work and anything that anybody would like to know, um, we have an artist who can help. We have artists take commissions who will do portraits or house portraits or animal portraits or and the big buzz all the time all around the members is what show are you doing next we always want to know who's done what show and what's the good show to do and where to do it and all about it and we do a lot of shows outside shows outside of the gallery mm -hmm. and shows around the area and a lot of our artists even venture further outside of the capital district we have artists who have done shows in vermont florida california all over the country and we all want to talk about them and where they've been and what's a good show to do and who's doing what and and we all get together and a big part of our conversation is about, about art shows. yes uh, we've shows. been fortunate here at the library over the years to be able to have a show uh with the with that the is right one of them. Every, year every year and, year. and really right. become yes. acquainted so when i went to the gallery today saw some familiar names right. um so, uh, but it's not about the prize, right, in the shows. Shows usually, usually garner some kind of uh, a prize, award, whatever have you, and I'm sure that's something an artist would like to have, but mm -hmm. um, it's not necessarily about that, but having someone be exposed to the art and okay. to also have a chance to see others uh, in this whole realm of the art world. Actually, the show that we do here at the library is the biggest show that the Colony Art League does. It's our annual holiday show. And we have, gosh, over 100 artists who exhibit at that show. It is our largest show. And yes, we do have monetary prizes for that. And we always have a big turnout for that. And everybody enjoys it. And that is an example of the type of shows that the Colony Art League does in, in various places in the area. Yeah. Now, I know there are, there are artists everywhere, and I'm just impressed that there is such a, an organization in our, in our area, in our community. Um, are there art leagues? Is this something common that, that pe people group together as artists and form leagues? Um, not unique to this area, right? Well, there are several. Marjorie knows a lot about them because of her association. Yeah, there, with are, her there are groupings. This, w this one, I think, is particularly large in terms of the membership. Um, but I have, there are a few other groups in the area, and as I've traveled around, I've come across similar organizations in other parts of the country. In fact, even galleries, although not, not as nice as ours, <laughs> of course. Of course um, not. <laughs> saw one in Kansas City not too long ago, uh, and it was, a, it was a gallery that was for the sole purpose of exhibiting the work of its members. And I do think that that's the important thing to remember about this gallery, is that this work is exclusively the members of the Colony Art League. Okay. And that they are so very local, hence the name, Local Color. Yes, um, which I like. Chosen carefully, I'm sure. So, and I, I, I continue to be impressed with how interested the artists are in learning, continuing to learn from each other and from other people because every one of the meetings has a demonstration as part of the meeting. And it usually is someone who is not a member of the league, but is an expert in some particular area. So everybody gathers around and watches and, and learns. I'm and impressed with that. I think yeah. that's, that's great. So it's a, it's a group of people that are interested in continuing to learn. Wonderful. So let's travel to the gallery. Um, located. This is on Route 7 in Latham, directly across the road from the Peter Harris Plaza. And um, it is, it's, a, it's a busy road. We do have a parking lot, and it, uh, 
we try to be as visible as we can. Uh, approaching from the east, there's a very um, noticeable sign. Right. And from the west, the building has an interesting mural on the side of it. Which is what we're going to show. We're going to show some of that. Yes. So people just kind of need to be aware that there is a gallery there. We fly the American flag very prominently outside. And there's usually there was, there's a sign that will say open. And so it's, uh, it's not a difficult place to get to. You just have to kind of watch for it. As you're, if you're a first-time visitor, be aware that it's right. in that location. Well, I was worried about not being able to find it, but it was real easy to, for me to do right. today. And yes, it is a bu busy thoroughfare, yes. fair, but we're trying to get people to take the time to slow make down. that turn and slow, slow down and go down in and, and see the in. art, because right. I think it's really right. marvelous. As I said before, there's a lot of art there. Mm -hmm. Um, so we, we, you know, we walk in the door and, and um, basically when you walk through and in, into the main area, you're just surrounded by yes. scads of art. Yeah. And there will always be an artist there serving sort of as a docent um, so that you know that when you're there, you're also in the presence of someone who's exhibiting. So they will be happy to tell you about their own work and about the work of the other artists there and guide you through. So it's a very nice atmosphere. But if someone just wants to go and, and um, peruse, uh, it's basically self-guided? Pretty much, yes. Um, anybody is welcome to come in and just enjoy the gallery experience. There are over 34 artists exhibiting right now. There's literally hundreds of pieces of artwork hanging in the gallery. And we are a co-op. You know, we are a, a cooperative uh, organization. So all of the members, all of the artists are volunteers. The gallery is completely managed and maintained by all of the artists. So as Marjorie was saying, you'll always find an artist there. And usually more than one, because as we mentioned before, <laughs> we love to get together and talk and, and, and talk about our work and talk about the latest shows and things like that. So many times you'll find several artists there and it's always a pleasure for um, art enthusiasts to come into the gallery and actually meet some of the artists and see their work and talk to them now you group yeah. the you group the uh, the gallery by artist right you your collections are by a certain artist collection so you're not really having a um, uh, a particular style of, of painting or artwork right. uh, represented in a particular quadrant. It is the artists themselves that you have grouped together, whatever variety they may right. have. So you can see a, an artist in all their uh, hues, right. uh, so mm -hmm. to speak, um, which I think is very interesting. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's wonderful. We do have a wall space, as we call it, for each artist. And they have a nameplate, and they can arrange and, and hang their work as they would like. And we have what is called seasonal show changes at the gallery. And it happens four times a year. And what happens is all of the artists change their work at the gallery within their wall space. So the work is constantly changing, which makes it very exciting at the gallery. And it makes it very pleasing for the visitors who like to come back. They will always see something new. So the work is different and each artist gets a chance to exhibit something new or something old or s a, a new style that they're doing. So this change that occurs is a wonderful way to keep the gallery fresh mm -hmm. and to keep people like yourself who like to come in um, occasionally to see a, quite a variety of the individual artist's work and all of the work you know, overall. Now it's a finite space even though you have used every square inch of it magnificently I must say and, 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 and really it's nothing that really overwhelms you but there are is art everywhere um, mm -hmm. do you have an occasion where you have to queue up artists or uh, say or is it or th are there people who are in effect resident artists being on display there a lot of our artists have been there since the inception of the gallery which was in 2000 we have many artists who have been there forever and we have new artists Anybody from the Colony Art League, uh, any member, is welcome and invited to show their work there any time that they would like. Um, so that you'll always see a new artist, usually, because we're always getting new artists come in. And then you'll see some of the constant artists who have been there all along, but yet you'll always see new work of theirs. Now, these are so unique 
works of art there and they're not replications so um, if someone were to come into the gallery and, and really get hooked on a, uh, a work and it's happened to me when the show has been downstairs here um, and they want to purchase uh, a piece of art mm -hmm. they can right yes they yes. can walk out of the gallery with it. They can walk out of the gallery with it. Preferably after paying for it, of course. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Everything in the gallery is for sale. And yes, we are known as being one of the, I think, one of one of the only galleries in the area where all of the work is original, original artwork. Um, a lot of places have prints. We do have a, an exception, which is our gift shop. Okay. We have a little gift shop in the gallery, which is very nice, and it's full of some of the items that you can see here, ceramics, woodworking, and small pieces. And the exception to that is in the gift shop, we do allow prints. But all of the work hanging on exhibit is all original artwork. Mm -hmm. And you have things like um, note cards and other mm -hmm. type right. things. Gift you can gift items. Gift um, items. A lot of that's yeah. very popular, and you took a a, a visit into what we call the little gallery. Yes, I was going to talk about the which little is gallery. A, a, probably, I think, one of my favorite spots in the gallery because it's, pr for the most part, s small pieces that people can say, oh, I could put that over in the hallway there above the, you know, near the mirror or something. And um, so those things are there for uh, uh, people to come and see, and those are also original pieces in there. Um, but it's, there's a lot of little surprises in the gallery. Yeah, it's so a nice little nice step aside it place is, and yeah, it has a couch yeah. there as well. And There's and a place to sit and we have our library. You have your library you there. Um, and check, you uh, check books out uh, and tapes uh, for people who want to And reading study. your literature on it, um, um, you, you uh, uh, is it still true that you put a moratorium on any more books coming in or are you are We kind of ran out of space. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's the issue, right? <laughs> right. So uh, yeah, we, we need to find a place to have uh, some more books, but it's really it's an amazing library, and I've checked things out. But myself. you're very proud of the collection. It's a very nice. Pe some people have been extremely generous, and there are some very valuable books in that library that uh, I'm sure uh, if you tried to go and purchase them and and to use them as a reference uh, would be very costly. So it's nice to be able to to take them out and study and bring them back and take some more out. And you also have a very uh, fairly large uh, video collection. It's a video collection, uh, part of which was donated by WMHT, and then other people have brought in things that they probably purchased themselves and, and now want to share with other people. So, And there is, am I correct, there's still a, is there still a tape deck there that people could preview if they wanted to yeah, decide on something? The video collection of the library includes both um, VCR and we're just starting to add DVDs. We do have a television and a VCR machine where any of the artists who come in there can actually pop in a video and watch it and it's sometimes it's even uh, running all during the day and any visitor can stop in and see the uh, Whatever v you know, whatever tape is playing about. So total emergency. No, we need we need a DVD player. Yes, wouldn't we that do. be great if somebody would donate a DVD player? Yes, there you go. Yeah, that would be a nice <laughs> thing. Let's too. see if you get one. And the number to call. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. that'd be great. Yeah. But the library is a, it's a beautiful library. The collection we have over two hundred books in our collection at the library, and as we were saying, it is housed right in the gallery, and it is a members library. Anybody of the uh, Colony Art League can uh, check out a book. Uh, we can take it out for a month, and they can borrow a, uh, a VCR or a DVD. Mm -hmm. You mentioned member a couple times, and I mentioned it as well. Um, how does one become a member? We have applications at the gallery. You can call the gallery and uh, Ask for one. We can mail you one. Applications are there. The annual dues are thirty-five dollars to be a member of the of the league, and it includes all these things that we're talking about: the members' library, being able to exhibit in the gallery. We have newsletters. All these shows, these outside ex exhibits and shows, are all included, and in so many. The gallery and the league is a very very busy place. We are always having things going on, all events and projects. It's a very, very, very busy place. We have workshops and... Well, that's what I want to mention, too. It's mm -hmm. not just a gallery where you have 
works of art on display. Um, there's, mm -hmm. there's obviously room there um, for people to come in and experience art, to learn something. Mm -hmm. uh, you have classes. We have a uh, monthly one-day workshop that is presented by the gallery, uh, and it's held at the Public Operations Building in Latham on Wade Road. Okay. So it's not right at the gallery. It is off, off the premises. Right. Um, it's a wonderful space that the town is allowing us to use, which is great. And all of the presenters of these workshops are members of the Colony Art League. So they are all artists. And each workshop is always something different and something new. We have beginner workshops, intermediate workshops, painting, drawing. We try to mix them up and offer all the, the members something different all the time. They're usually held during the week, um, but we're trying to move them maybe to a weekend to give more people you know, the availability to attend them. And the price, you can't beat the price. If you're a member, a one-day workshop is $10 for a whole day of instruction with a full-time, you know, with a professional artist, or if you're a non-member, it's $15, so. Definite member benefits. Right, Absolutely. Right, yes. Absolutely. So that's a, another perk and, a, and another um, activity that we offer. Now, you don't have to be an artist to be a member. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> but but, but one that's evolving. We'll but still, an so. interest in art, someone we'll who really right. wants to support. Right. Uh, the arts and, and uh, is really uh, um, caught up with the, the, whole pro the whole project, which I think is, is, is wonderful. Uh, as mm -hmm. I say, in this area, we have so many variety of things to choose from, and here we have this wonderful concentration of art and artists. Mm -hmm. um, so I think belonging would be a wonderful opportunity for people to... Yes. to for both artists and art enthusiasts. And we have a lot of members who are artists and their spouses join also, just to be supportive and to be a part of it. And they all have a great time. They come to the gallery together, or they go to these shows or all these other activities, they can come together. And it, it, we, we welcome anybody who would like to be a part of you know, the art world. Well, when I was visiting today, um, um, actually somebody was there, an artist was there, as you say, mm -hmm. always is there, uh, and she was actually working on one of her pieces of art. Right. Um, to, who? That was Judy D'Angelo. Judy D'Angelo. She was doing some watercolor work okay, right we'll there. Okay, we're going to fly in, because I took, I, I went over her shoulder and caught a little bit of a, right. what she was doing, mm -hmm. um, right. but obviously yeah. it was very conducive for her to be able to just be in that environment and to continue. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, our artists love to take advantage of spending the time at the gallery. Like I said, we're all volunteers, and we all spend time at the gallery. And it's so enjoyable. First of all, it's, it's just a wonderful environment to come and spend the day or a half a day at the gallery. And a lot of them do. They'll bring their work with them, and they're inspired by the work around them, and they can sit there and they can work. They can read. They can watch a video. They chat with the visitors who come in. So it's, it's just a, a very relaxing, inspirational, and uh, enjoyable place to s spend a day or half a day. All of the members and volunteers are required to help out and volunteer at the gallery um, seven and a half hours a month. It's not bad. And everyone who does it takes advantage of every minute they can <laughs> have being there because it's just so much fun. And it's a, you know, so that's a requirement enjoyable. of membership? For the gallery. For the yeah. gallery. For if okay. you're going to volunteer in for the, the gallery. gallery, that's one okay. of the requirements, yes. Okay. Um, uh, take a little break now. And I'm Marjorie, you're going to leave the table. Okay. Um, and um, uh, Kim Banaji Lee is going to come in take your place. That's right. And uh, we're going to talk some more about um, some other things. So thanks again for, for being on this segment. enjoyed being here. Thank you for okay. having mm -hmm. all of us. We'll talk to you soon. Okay. Kim, welcome. And nice to be here. Now, just like I did with Christy and Marjorie, I'm going to ask you to give us a bit of your background, and uh, and then we'll we'll go on from there. So, okay. Well, I was born in Rockland County, and I lived there until 1997 when I married and moved upstate to Latham, and I worked for uh, Office of Mental Retardation and Developmental Disabilities for 17 years 
I was in public relations and I retired early and decided to pursue a career as an artist and start uh, fine art again like I did when I was a kid. I did go to school for art like Christie, and uh, I found out about the gallery because it appeared one day suddenly about five minutes from my home. <laughs> 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 so I can actually walk to the gallery. I thought that was a sign. Yeah, you know? yeah I think so. So I did go there one day and uh, checked it out and a wonderful man named Jack Penrose showed me around, a fellow artist, and he really got me hooked and I joined Colony Art League and a year later became the membership chairman for the league and I joined the gallery and I now show my work there and I'm also a committee member and I am finance coordinator and handle all the money for all the crazy parties who work there. <laughs> So that's what happens when you get involved in a volunteer yeah. organization. You all of a sudden become, but it's it's wonderful, uh, and I'm I'm I have to say to the both of you, it's just I'm I'm impressed with somebody who can actually say I'm an artist, and you've decided you've made the commitment to doing art, uh, you know, being an artist and creating art um, for whatever pursuits you may have had in life. If this is something you say, I I need to do. I want to do. So mm -hmm. I'm impressed. Um, and and, and uh, um, I wish I had it, but uh, I can enjoy <laughs> yours as well. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things uh, I wanted to talk about was getting the word out to members, and we talked about the, the benefit of memberships. And I know that there is a newsletter that the Art League puts out on a regular basis, and it has a, a segment in it for the local mm -hmm. color gallery. But there's also a like publication from the uh, local color gallery itself called Painter's Edge. Um, so let's talk about that. Yes, yes the, the League does have a newsletter that is distributed to all of the members. But Kim and I decided we wanted to do something a little more specific just for the gallery. So we created the pen Painter's Edge. And Kim and I are the editors. And not only is this a supplement to the League's newsletter and it goes to every member, it's distributed to the general public. We even have it right here at yeah. the library. We bring it here. It's also at the gallery. And it tells about everything that's going on in, in the gallery. The front cover always highlights one of the artists from the gallery. We always have a different artist on there. And then the rest of the information has to do with all of the busy events that we always have going on with the gallery. Yeah. Now is it true also that you have um, um, biographies for the artists that you can, that people can find out more about the artists that, that, are, that are displaying work at the gallery? Yes, we do. Most artists have on file there uh, biographies and resumes, uh, business cards, and a person who comes in who's interested in that artist can take some of that information with them. If they're interested in a commission, I gave out some information yesterday on someone who is interested in one of our artists. And we also have on one of our walls, uh, we have a, Chrissy designed a little uh, plaques for each mm -hmm. artist that says a little bit about them. So when you walk in uh, by the desk, there's a section there and you can read about the artists that are currently displaying. Mm -hmm. And so find out a little bit about them and their work. As it so happens, the issue I have in front of me has you as oh, the yeah. featured artist for this. <laughs> <laughs> that was not planned. <laughs> As you see, that I was just like in May or something. <laughs> we That's just our picked last up issue. One. Yes. <laughs> one of the things we want to uh, make sure we do is there is a website for the um, for the gallery, um, as well as the art league. So we want to make sure we get the website uh, up there so people can explore that way. Um, I think you mentioned a phone number once before in case somebody wanted to call. The gallery phone number is seven eight six six five five seven. Telephone number. Let's talk about the hours of operation for the gallery. Okay, we're open from Wednesday through Saturday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., Sunday from noon to 4. We're closed Mondays and Tuesdays, but we do allow for appointments. If anybody would like to meet any artist or meet us for any other reason at a time that we're closed, even in the evenings, just give us a call and we can make arrangements. Okay, and this is all year long? Yes. This is yes. your, and yes. I presume that you'd be closed on a holiday. In most cases, but not necessarily. sometimes we are closed, but if it's a popular holiday that we know that people might be out and about okay. shopping or, or 
just you know out and about for a drive we'll, we'll stay open yeah great yeah. great well as I said uh, at the at the outset I, I really was very impressed uh, when I when I got there today and um, really there's I, I didn't spend the time I'd like to so I definitely will come back and, and be able to take my time because I think you should be able to uh, really take the time and and absorb what's there uh, mm -hmm. there's a lot of different mm -hmm. styles and uh, different artists um, so I definitely want to encourage our viewers to go pay a visit if they haven't already and if they have to come back again um, also let, let, let me, let's say let's encourage people to become members um, so that they can uh, support the arts and uh, your organization in this area um, so before we go is there anything else you'd like to add before we say goodbye we would be very happy to have you come back again yes. <laughs> anybody we would invite anybody to come and like you say it does take a while to go through the gallery you know and as i mentioned earlier the work is always yes. changing so come back and and come in and and enjoy it we have a free coffee friday <laughs> so come there you in go and have some coffee mm -hmm. and Talk, like i chat said to the artist ch chat with the artists and they do like to cook so you never know. There might be some <laughs> nice baked goods there on Fridays also, or any time. You know, they bring in little goodies. So it is a, a, a very nice experience and very relaxing and, and enjoyable. And so once again, Route 7, right across from Peter, yeah. Peter yes. Harris. And yes. uh, uh, if you're coming from the east, you see your, your sign and all that. If you're coming from the other direction, you see this wonderful mural. Yeah. Interesting about the mural, uh, it isn't static. You have, uh, you have a, a change. You change it, don't you? We have you? an interchangeable piece. There's a frame that one of the commuters is holding that she purchased from us. And the painting does change out uh, quarterly along with our change of show. Very so we have changes on the outside and the <laughs> inside going on. Yeah. So, yeah, well, we've, we've nice. taken all sorts of shots so people can see exactly what it looks like. We've taken a shot of the mural. We've taken shots inside. So, uh, and also uh, some of the various artworks are going to, as I say, have been uh, on view as we've been talking today. So once again, I want to thank you very much for being my guest today. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank it's you been for having a pleasure. Us. Yeah. And thanks for joining me on Getting to Know You. I hope you enjoyed today's show and will join us again next week. Until then, have a good one. Thank you.